Tonight, I am making a chicken pineapple stir-fry. Welcome to Tess's Kitchen. You all know that we love Asian cuisine. And for this dish, we love the combination of the sweet pineapple, the hot sriracha, and a touch of sesame oil. I'm starting off by cutting up a fresh pineapple, and I'm going to leave it in nice sized chunks. I'm going to end up using about two cups of chunked pineapple. I have about two pounds of one inch cut up chicken thighs, marinated in two tablespoons of soy sauce and two tablespoons of rice vinegar. The rice vinegar is going to help tenderize the meat. We have our diced pineapple, one cup of snow peas, one to one and a half cups of onion, and one cup of red bell pepper. And for the sauce, she went three tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, one teaspoon of sesame oil, one to two teaspoons of sriracha sauce, this is optional, one tablespoon of minced garlic, and one tablespoon of cornstarch water slurry for thickening, and about a half a cup of water. You want to end up with about one and a half cups to one three quarter cups of liquid. Mix all your sauce ingredients together, mix well, and set to the side. In a hot wok, add about two tablespoons of cooking oil. Then add your chicken. For the amount of chicken that I have, I'm going to end up doing it in two batches. Once the chicken is browned and done, remove from the wok and set to the side. Bring your wok back up to heat and add two tablespoons of cooking oil. Add your bell pepper, onion, and snow peas and cook for two to three minutes, stirring constantly. Then add your pineapple and cook for an additional two to three minutes.
You can find this recipe and more on my Facebook and Google Plus page. Remember to come give me a visit. Add your chicken and give it a good stir. Cook for about one to two minutes. Next, add your sauce and bring up to a boil. You will see the sauce thicken. Cook for another minute or two, stirring constantly. Make sure all the meat and the vegetables are coated with that nice, thick, rich sauce. And you're done! Serving tonight with some white jasmine rice. I hope you make this, love it, and enjoy. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe for future recipe videos from Tessa's Kitchen. You can also find me on Google+, Facebook, and Pinterest. Come visit again and enjoy.